Hello, my dear students. Welcome to this lecture. So this entire uh, series of lectures, uh, we will be taking this particular plan. Okay, it's one of a residential building which has a ground floor, first floor, and a second floor. Okay, and we'll try to find out the quantities for our entire building. Okay, now uh, first we'll be starting from the substructure activities where we are going to do the excavation quantity, the PCC quantities, and all. Right. So. What I'm going to do is right now, I'll teach you how the Excel sheet has to be prepared. And after that, we'll try to take out the quantities. So whenever we try to take out the quantities, we require the structural drawings, isn't it? Now for the same building, this is a structural drawing what I have. So where you get all the footing details and all like F7, F8, and this is a complete table of that. Okay. And with the help of all these things, we'll try, we'll try to take out the quantities for this entire building. So before that, uh, if you remember, uh, we, we need to create a kind of Excel sheet, something like this, right? So unless and until we don't create a sheet, something like this, it is very difficult for us to do the um, estimation. So here I'm going to teach you how it has to be done. So you may having, you might be having a Excel in your laptop. So try to open it. Okay. And once you open, this is a blank sheet, what you get. Now, uh, whatever may be your project, you just need to write the details there. Like I've written it here. See, I've written the cl client name. Then I'll return the name of the work. I'll return the name of the project. What is the project number and name of the consultant. So we'll try to write the same thing here. The first is a client name. So let me write the client name here. So we'll start from here. Okay. So see like client name. Okay. Client name is done. So once this is done, no, this part is coming out, isn't it? You just keep your mouse here and try to drag it in this way. Okay. Keep your mouse there and drag it in this way so that you can see this particular column has been separated. Once the client name is done, what is the next thing what we have? Name of the work, right? What is the work you're supposed to do here? So right here, name of the work, or you can even leave one space there, or not, not an issue. So name of work, okay? Or even you can write scope of the work, anything is okay. Then we have name of the project. What is the project name? Okay, name of project. Okay. And then the last is a project number. Since this is the first project, if you're doing, so you can start with yeah project number. You can mention it as one. But if you're a if you're working on a consultant, I mean if you're working consultant, uh, and when you get a lot of projects, you need to give a separate number to that, right? In that case, you can uh, keep on giving the number like one, two, three, and four. So now client name will start. Uh, I'll give a name some something like this. Uh, maybe uh, it's a Nayak uh, residential bar. Okay. Uh, client name is, let us say, Nayak. Okay. Uh, you can give anything. Uh, let me see what name I had given it here. Yeah, Nayak Bungalow. I'll write here client name. So the client name is, let us say, uh, Satish Nayak. Okay. This is the name what I have given. He's a client name. What is the name of the work? So, name of the work is civil and structural work. Okay. So, civil. Uh, and structural work. Okay. Next one is that name of the project. What is this project about? It's a ground story. I mean, it's a ground plus two story residential building. Residential building. Okay. Yeah. Residential building. And after that, Last one, what you have is a project number. Since it's a first project, I'll make it as zero one. Okay, done. So once all these things are done, next we need to uh, add one more thing. What is that? That is called as name of the consultant. Okay, who is a consultant? Let us say if 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 you are a consultant, you can even write it here. Name of a consultant, or even you can do it here. Anywhere it's okay. I'll write it here. Name of consultant. Okay, that is your company or whatever your company name you can write here. So I'll write here Kamath Consultants. Kamath consultants. Okay, done. This much thing you are done. Now, now it's not looking good, isn't it? You need to uh, make it a bit uh, colorful and the font and all should look good. So what you can do, you drag entire thing in this way. Okay, come here. Now he, here you have a lot of different font. Okay, see if you keep it in this way, this also looks good. Uh, this looks good. Uh, I usually prefer keeping this particular thing. Okay, 
you, you can uh, try whichever you want. Okay, this is this looks good. So this is what I have done. Next, you will make this entire thing bold. If you want to make it bold, there's option here called as bold. Click on the bold. Okay, everything got bold. And now this alignment is not, it's on the side, right? I want to get it at the center now. So you select, see, whenever you want to do anything on the Excel, you just have to select everything, select everything. And you can see one option here. This is center point, okay? The moment I do this, it will come at the center, okay? This is how it is. If you don't want, then you can go with the this part also. This part also looks good. Like client name, uh, name of the work, name of the project, project number, and name of the consultant. Uh, what I can do is I'll, uh, uh, yeah. yeah, it's okay, not an issue, okay? And now this row sizes you can increase. Instead of this, I'll right click here, see? I'll keep here, I'll select everything, I'll right click. There's one option here, row, row height, okay? Select that, uh, 14, instead of that, you can keep it as 20. So now you see that space has increased, isn't it? This entire space has increased. Now it's going to look good, okay? Then again, if you want to color this, you can do all those things. You can see here the color part. You can give a color something like this, okay? It all depends how you want to do it, okay? Uh, yeah. And then again, now individually, I'm going to, uh, you know, uh, this thing, uh, what, what you, I'm going to put a boxes here. I'll click everything. I'll select this column. Come here. There's one option here, isn't it? Bottom border. Click on this part. And there's something called as all border. Click on this all borders. So now you see everywhere the border has come. So in this way, uh, you can make it uh, wonderful. And even if you want to increase the size of uh, like I'll select this. You can see the 11 number, isn't it? I'll increase that. Either you can select from here or even you can click on this. See, you can click on this. So this is how it looks. Yeah, now it looks good, right? So in this way, you can try to uh, do all these things. So once these things are done, next, what you are supposed to do, we're supposed to start with the estimation work, okay? Now you can see the same thing I've done it here, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we could have done one more thing also. Uh, I've given uh, this thing, what is that, a column here. Otherwise, I could have done it in a single name, like client name, that Satish should have come here only. That also you could, you can do. Like you see here, I'll not do that again. See, client name I've written, Nayak Bangalore Bangalore. No, what I've done is entire thing, I've made it as a, a single, this thing, uh, what you call a column, okay? You could have done in that way also, but not an issue. You can do in this way also, right? What I'm trying to tell is, instead of doing this way, I'll tell you, select everything, copy. I'll paste it here. Okay, and now let me, yeah, you can select this, control C. I'll give a space, I'll put control, yeah, control C. Okay, this won't work out. Let me control C. Yeah, it will work out. Okay, I could have done in this way also. In single column, in single column, I could have written everything instead of giving a row to that. This also would have looked nice. So if you want to do that quickly, I'll do that. Okay, it will take time now, but it's okay. Yeah, you can do in that way also. I'm selecting everything. And let me paste that here, okay? And then this thing, control C, control V, uh, control C, control, okay, I'll write this one only, zero one. And this thing, yeah, uh, you can see this is how it has been done. Now, if you don't want this, no, I'll delete everything, okay? And now what I can do is I'll merge everything. I'll select this. I'll say merge at center. Let me try to do that. Okay, it won't work out. Uh, not an issue. I'll uh, take out all these borders again. See, now you put this border, isn't it? If I don't want that, again, you select everything in this way. This way you select everything. Okay, go back here. This option called as no borders. Select on no borders. All the borders will go now. Okay, and now uh, I need to shift this. I'll select this. Uh, let me say control C and let me go with control V. Yeah, it works out. So again, this part I don't require. I'll delete it now. And now this, let me drag it in this way. Okay. And this border is not required. Select here. No border. Okay. Even this also no border. Okay. Everything is gone. Now it looks good. Now if you want, you can drag it in this way. Try to drag it or you can increase the size. Okay. So in this way, 
uh, this is how your entire thing is gonna look. Okay, looks great. So in this way, you first uh, create such kind of uh, report. I mean, this is how you are supposed to do it. Once this is done, next we'll start with the this part. That is a measurement sheet. Right now, whatever estimation I'm going to do, take off quantities. What I'm going to do, uh, it will be a measurement sheet. We call it as a MS or measurement sheet. So let me write down that. I'll start from here. Okay. So I'll write here. Okay. This. Okay. We'll do one thing. Yeah. Now we'll start with a measurement sheet. I'll write it here. Measurement. Okay. Measurement sheet. So you also can do the same thing along, along with me. So I've written a measurement sheet here. After that, what all things I require? One is serial number. I require item description. I require unit, number of members. Then I require length. Then I require width or breadth, depth or thickness, quantity and total quantity. So this is a format you're supposed to follow. So we'll quickly note down all these things. So again, I'll start from here. So again, if you want to make this bold, what you're supposed to do. Okay, see, now it's not looking good, isn't it? What I can do, I'll try to merge this much, this much cell. I selected that. I'll go to this part called as merge at center. Okay, now what has happened? This entire uh, row has become I was saying one single row. Okay, I mean, this entire thing has become one single column. Now I'll select on that. I can make it bold. I can increase the size of that. Okay, and now if you want to change the font, you can keep it this measurement sheet or whatever you want. No, you can follow that. Uh, this looks good. Okay, I'll keep it as measurement sheet. Okay, it's looking good. And then if you want to give a kind of a color, you can give it something like this. It all depends on you what kind of arrangements you're supposed to do. Measurement sheet. And then if you want to give a border to this, select here and click on this. There's one option which is called as thick outside border. Click on that. Now it looks good. Now, if you want to change the color of this measurement sheet, click on that. You can see this A and here you can make it as a red color measurement sheet, yellow or whatever. I'll make it as yellow color and let me increase the font. Yeah, this looks great. Okay, fine. Now we'll start from here. What is the first thing? Serial number. Okay. Serial. Number. Then we have. Uh, item description, item description, uh, then we have uh, uh, units. So this will uh, do in this way, then we have units. Okay, after that, uh, number of members. See, you can follow anything if you're following something else other than what I've written. You can even follow that, not an issue, but this is a standard format what you can follow. Okay. There's no hard and fast rule that you have to follow the same thing what I'm giving. Number of members, then comes your length. Then comes your length. Yeah, L-E-N-G, length. So always the length, you mention what is the unit you're supposed to follow. You're following the meter part, so I'm writing meter there, okay? Then I require width. So again, width, sometimes we use the word width, sometimes we use the word depth, uh, not sorry, breadth, okay? So you write both the things, so there is no confusion. And now see, now what has happened? This has come outside, isn't it? Come here, select this and then drag it. Again, you write the unit here, open the bracket, write meter and close the bracket. Okay, this looks good. Again, increase that size. Then the next one is depth. Again, depth or th thickness, because if you're doing it for the column, it will be a depth. But if it for PCC thickness and all, it will be thickness. So I'll write both thickness also. Again, that will be in meter or mm, but here we'll write in meter only. Okay, so again, uh, this. Okay, thickness and this you keep it as capital meter done. And then the last part is a uh, quantity and total quantity. So quantity is for the single unit. Okay, quantity means for the single unit. 
quantity uh, so quantity will be okay quantity and then the last one is a total quantity total quantity quantity so once you prepare this no it's enough okay initially it will take some time but it's okay so done now it's not looking so great isn't it even though you have done it it's not looking great now you can try to decorate it how do you try to decorate that again very simple select everything first once you selected uh, try to make it bold since it's a heading then come here you can increase the you can uh, keep the font the way you want uh, again i'll go with this uh, yeah this looks good i'll go with this arial unicode ms you can go with anything i'll go with this okay and now you see this part again i need to yeah drag it quantity and total now it's now it's looking good again you see everything is not at the center isn't it this one is at the left this is at the left end of so now let me bring everything at the center i selected everything again there's one option here called as center click on the center now you can see everything has come at the center again we'll increase the size of this so that it looks good now you see the moment i'm increasing the size no everything is disappearing isn't it is going inside so you have two option one option is you can increase the row height otherwise you select this is one option here called as wrap text you can see it here wrap text actually what happened you see i'll select everything i'll decrease the size now when i'm decreasing the size everything is coming in a single line but when i'm increasing the size what is happening everything is going inside the column so what if such things happen is select everything and this one option here here called as wrap text click on that so now you can see how it has come so this way you can try to keep it now again this is not looking good try to drag it so it will come in a single unit try to drag it it will come in a single unit again try to drag it it will come in a single now everything looks good now again click on that and try to make it center it's already at the center yeah now it's okay right this looks good hmm? if you don't want to do it in this way no problem you can even select this select this uh, this thing you do and then let me try to increase the row height here uh, row height already it has gone to 23 what will happen if i do 30 no it won't work out okay so that is the only option that you have to go for the wrap text else otherwise you decrease the size or you can uh, do the wrap text okay i'll keep it in this way only it looks great so once this is done we'll give a border to everything i'll select this and you can see this part come here there's one option here thick outside box so in this what will happen only the outside part will get a border whereas this inside we are not getting any border so again click everything select there's one option here called as all borders click on all borders now what has happened everywhere the border has come isn't it this looks good now you can do one more thing because anyhow entire thing we are going to okay we'll do that later not an issue okay this much is understood whatever i had done it here no the same thing you can see everything has been replicated right so this is a basic sheet that you're supposed to follow and after this we'll try to uh, do out uh, all the quantities one by one we'll start with the excavation the pcc and all those things right and this part you can increase a bit so that because i need to write it later the earthquake excavation and all so you can increase the size of this okay yeah rest all things good this much and this part you can bring at the center now because it has gone to the corner what you can do select this again you say this part uh this i'll bring it at the center what i can do is yeah uh, i'll select this i'll bring at the center this part okay let me try yeah i brought at the center uh, hmm. i can keep it here i can keep it at the center also yeah now it's okay but this entire thing is not required i'll change the color i'll put the color black to uh, you know this white looks no fill we'll go with no fill no fill means no color will come and now it's okay again this let me unmerge it if i want i can uh, okay okay no problem we'll keep it in this way not an issue okay this looks good okay okay this fine measurement sheet and this part is looking great so i hope up to here you are able to understand how this excel sheet has to be prepared try to prepare up to here and from the next lecture we'll try to do all this excavation quantities one by one okay so i hope you have enjoyed my lecture up to here we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you